Today we're going to be playing Call at Arms, a new game mode in Red Dead Online. I'm going to be showing you guys the method I have for the Valentine one, so let's get right into it. All right, guys, we're here in the Valentine Call to Arms mission. So the NPCs don't really matter that much. You don't gotta really worry about them. But what you're gonna want to do is come over here to the saloon, this big red building. You're gonna want to come around to these stairs on the left side of it if you're looking straight at it. And you want to come up here. And you're gonna want to jump on the roof. This is where I stay the entire game. You just, I usually use a bolt. Lancaster and two monsters pistols and then you know in between rounds I hop down grab some ammo I don't really pay too much attention to the NPCs but I do that up until like round seven and then I go down pick up some dynamite and to destroy the uh, turret carriages then I think it's round nine they have the dynamite bows I pick up those too but that's pretty much it I'll see you in round like eight Alright guys, round seven's about to start, so be careful jumping off this roof. I actually died in between rounds earlier, but now you want to start grabbing dynamite, but you got to be fast. You want to grab a bunch of dynamite and hurry up and run back up to the roof. Like I said, I like to refill the ammo, you know, just so I don't have to worry about it. But come over here. You don't got to be up there right away, but refill the ammo real quick. Run back around. Uh, hop back up on the roof. You also want to be careful right here on this roof next to you. There's a ladder. Sometimes they climb up or stay right there on the side. But there's a wagon coming right now. I'll show you guys how to blow them up. You want to just jump from roof to roof. already did it though but that's what you gotta do they can also come right below you right down here and then you just do the same thing go down like straight down but i return in round eight nine and then five and ten so you guys are all right guys round eight's about to start so there's no dynamite bow yet but just do the same thing you did last round. Run around and pick up some dynamite. There's gonna be a couple minigun wagons now, so I just refill my ammo and I didn't mention this yet, but the armored guys will start coming around seven two. To deal with them I usually just like shoot them a bunch or throw extra dynamite you have at them. That works pretty well too. But see you guys next round. Alright guys, we're back at round 9. So, to pick up this, I usually drop the Lancaster. Just because it's the easiest. I can deal without it, but I like having range on them. But, you want to pick up at least two of them, grab some more dynamite. You don't really have to refill the ammo as long as you have, like, you know, extra ammo. And then you want to make your way back up here again. 
Man, I'll see you guys in the start of round 10, the last round. A lot of you on your own. Alright guys, start of round 10. You want to just do the same thing you've been doing every other round, but this time you're probably going to need more of the stuff. There's going to be a couple turret carriages. But, see you guys when this is all over. Alright guys, that's it. Round 10 completed. So, hopefully you guys, you, hopefully you guys also completed it, but those are my stats. Obviously I died falling off the roof, so just remember to be careful, but, you know, if you enjoyed my method, if you thought it was helpful, please like and subscribe, because, you know, this is my first video, so I'm just starting out, so much appreciated, but see you guys later.